So we're just going to start off off the tee. I mean, these are for coaches, parents of, you know, young kids starting off six, seven, eight years old. There's, for me, there's a fundamentally sound swing that you want to start instilling in kids. And it's not like there's a, a little kid's way, a high school way, college and, and pro ball. Fundamentally sound is fundamentally sound. And so that's what we're going to focus on right now. So. Lane, get in your stance. So Lane has a, a slightly narrower stance, which is okay. He's, he's very athletic. He's in a strong position when he swings. But from a fundamentally sound standpoint, we like to get kids in their most athletic position, which is normally a base stealing position, a defensive position, wherever they start up from, that should be their starting point from their batting stance. We like them parallel, even with the white line, Lane slightly open right here, as you can see his feet, not too bad, but if they get closed off, that's where we get in trouble a little bit. So even to slightly open is good, and then we want to be in a balanced athletic position. So go ahead and get your hands set up. Hand position, he's got his hands here in a ready position. When he gets ready to swing, he's going to have a little bit of a load where he balances on his back foot and then his hands will work back into position where there's separation to start the fire. With a good approach, staying in the middle of the field. Approach is the biggest thing. A lot of times coaches, parents will say, you got to have a good approach when you hit. Teaching young kids to hit the ball back through the middle is by far the most important thing that, that anybody will learn today. Let's do a few more. So timing is critical. And if hitters are going to be on time, they want to try and make contact out front to where they get that good launch angle and that good exit velocity. So this drill, we're going to do our load, balance, hesitate, and hit it through the middle. We want them to feel loose, bent, short, to contact, and extend through contact on their finish where they get that good carry, that good backspin, okay? You got anything you want to share? Uh, sights hit it you know, around the head. There's, uh, there's principles to everything. At this level, every, everybody's unique in their own like, style, but when you kind of break it down, everyone kind of gets in the same positions consistently, or the best hitters do. So. Having a swing that is consistent and long through the zone gives you the best chance to hit when your you know your timing's not perfect. So he you know he does a really good job of getting our uh, swing where it needs to be and ready for the games. We're going to show this next drill. It's kind of one of my little secret sauce drills right here, where we just got this on a weight sandbag that we put back. It's a rope that's attached to the top of the cage, about even with the front part of home plate. And then we set this back, and we can set it different distances away from the hitter, closer to the hitter, and closer to home plate. Obviously, the further back it is and the further away it is, the more space it gives them to be able to, to swing freely. But as we get it closer and we move it up, what this does is they don't want to hit this rope. And so it forces them to stay short, to control the barrel, to keep it closer to their body to where they stay through it, and they stay shorter to the ball with more power and leverage. Lane loves the rope. I used to not like it last year. I used <laughs> I to hit it. Then the we first couldn't swing. get him off of it. <laughs> oh, Good. Wow. Good. Good. So that's a nutshell right there of what we do. The last thing I want to say, a lot of times coaches and parents can start yelling at kids for swinging at bad pitches, okay? If you yell at kids for swinging at bad pitches, you take away aggressiveness. If, we, if these guys lose their aggressiveness, they're done. If guys at the professional level can't do it right every time, how can you expect little kids to do it right every time? Keep it fun. The only two rules that I ever had as a coach was concentrate, give me effort, and I'm going to put the pom-poms on and keep cheering every day for them.